Trying to cool off while the summer heat blazes on shouldn't come at the cost of losing a life. News 10's Mars Anderson talked to experts about how parents can keep their young swimmers safe. As the summer heat wave continues across Michigan, more people are hitting the pool, including young swimmers. However, things can turn deadly when kids are too anxious to swim. The Ingham County Sheriff's Office responded to the drowning of a five-year-old boy in Leroy Township Monday evening. There's a group of people gathered at the pool and they were over there for a get together and things happened really quickly and the boy was discover discovered to be missing at one point and quickly located in the pool. The young boy later died at a local hospital. Incidents like this are why Teresa Sheridan, aquatic director with YMCA of Lansing, teaches the importance of water safety. So we try to teach the safety skills that could hopefully, if they were ever in trouble in the water, help them survive and know what dangers of water water is versus its nice effect that it has. Life jackets for bodies of water where your feet can't touch the ground, being an arm's length of young swimmers, and getting swim lessons are all tips shared and provides to parents. We teach back float so you know how to swim from the, on your front and roll over on your back should you need to take a breath. Treading water, one of the most important things is just how to get back to the wall and get to the safe area. <laughs> Sheridan says home pools should be gated along with creating conversation so young swimmers ask permission before entering the pool. We ask our children, is the water safe? And then we only allow them to get in even in a lesson after our instructors have say, is the water safe? Sheridan's advice turns a fun summer into a safe summer for both kids and parents. For News 10, I'm Mars Anderson reporting. The Ingham County Sheriff's Office says right now there are no pending charges in the death of the five-year-old boy. It was a hot day out at Elishar Park in Jackson. Andy will show us when we could see some relief from the heat in his first alert forecast next. But first